Why is my boyfriend's work phone ringing when he's not here? Annoying. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an empties for February and March because I just didn't get around to do one in February. And I don't think I had that many empties but I have collected quite a few and I have a few makeup products so I think it's very exciting this time around. So yeah, I do these every month. Uh, I try at least. I'm getting into a routine now where I use a products but beforehand uh, not so much. In this little bag I have all my makeup empties and I always start out with those because I just think that is the most exciting part because some of the other items are not that exciting. So the first thing I want to talk about is my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Is, that, is it called that? I have not had this open for a very long time, but it's just rough and it is, it is flaking every time I try to use it and wash it. So I just don't want to use it because it just feel, it feels rough and warm on my skin now. So I have one from BH Cosmetics that I really really like and I prefer that one over this so I just think it is time to go. I wish you can feel it compared to a whole new one because this is just... it's not supposed to feel like this. The mascara that I have used for the last three months is the W7 Last Tastic Falls Liquid Lashes. I usually use a mascara three to four months because then I think it is the most sanitary but they also tend to dry up on me and flake and I'm not the type of person that want to uh, revive a mascara because for example this W7 one is so so ex inexpensive that it, I don't I really don't care I can just buy a new one if I want to this mascara is really really nice. I do have it on today as well. I have put on two to three layers because I just find it most flattering that way. But as you can see it is very smudgy and there is a lot on the tube as you can see there. And on the wand is just goopy and I, I, I just don't want to use it anymore. And it is it has started flaking today and I know you should wait and see, but I really don't care. I have some other mascaras in my collection that I rather want to use right now. And I want to be on a break from this mascara. I really, really swore about it last year, but now I'm not really sure anymore. I don't think it is coating my lashes as well as I remembered. So I will try some other mascaras out and then maybe I will go back to this. Because it's very, very good for its price, definitely. And I really like it when I have built it up two to three times. An eyeliner that I have given up on if I just I'm tired of making it work for me because it is so empty and kind of dried out. I reached a point last month I think where I couldn't do a wing anymore and then I just lined my upper lashes but now it's getting patchy and I'm just like I need to move on. I have so many other eyeliners so many other nice eyeliners that I just really didn't want to use this anymore. So this is the W7 Line to 5 waterproof eyeliner pen. So this is a black eyeliner pen and I will say it's a felt tip because it's not bendable or anything. Well, a little bit. But yeah, as you can see when I pressed it down it was this and then became pigmented. But when you just want to use the tip you can't and I do store it upside down so that is not the issue. Why is it so dark? <laughs> um, but. This is an awesome eyeliner and again it's from W7 so it's not very expensive for an eyeliner. It's so dark. Sorry, let me just fix that. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, this is a very nice eyeliner and I will for sure go back to it when I'm running out of eyeliners. Which is, which is not right now. But I do prefer a liquid liner over a, a gel or and a pencil eyeliner. So yeah. This is a repurchase for me at some point, but right now, not so much. I really, really enjoyed this eyeliner. It is so easy to do a wing with and just lining your lashes overall. This powder is like my third one I have went through. And I'm, uh, I have already repurchased it 
because I am using it for my concealer every single day and I have just not found a powder that works for me like this one does. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and it's just so so nice. It it's a white powder but it is kind of translucent and kind of brightening at the same pine <laughs> at the same time. So it's really really nice for when you want to um, set your concealer and your under eyes. Sometimes it can give a white cast but when you are when you are as pale as I am it really doesn't matter. So this is a holy grail for me and I will always have this in my collection until I find something that is better. But for right now this is really really awesome and it's not very expensive either because it is essence. I have a foundation. It is the W7. It's a matte made in heaven. Heaven? Oh my god. Then we have my W7. It's a matte made in heaven. Heavenly matte foundation. I'm so excited that this is gone. Uh, I haven't worked on this since September, October maybe. I have worked on it for so long. Maybe even more because can you see all of these lines? All of these lines are from my panning project. The Hunger Games inspired project pen that I'm doing with the Fantastic Ladies. All of these are updates and I'm so excited for this to be gone. I used it with some lightning drops which I hate doing and I do used it with a illuminating cream thingy so it wasn't this matte and cakey and dark because yeah it's not my shade right now so i'm really really excited that this is gone i will never ever buy this again it's a nice matte foundation if you like that but i'm a more satin foundation girl and then if i want to be more matte i can just use a matte powder yeah i don't need a matte foundation even though i am working on another one but it's not that matte foundation oh i was going to say can you see no this is my maybelline fit me concealer in 15 and i'm really really excited that this this is gone as well it was matching this foundation because it is just a slight bit uh, lighter and when I put some lightning drops in the foundation, this was matching perfectly. But now that I don't have the foundation anymore, I just really wanted to use it up very, very quickly. So I just spread it all over my face and used a lighter concealer as well. I'm so glad this is done because this shade match is awful for me now. Because I, it's like I'm getting paler and paler for every... Can you say that? Paler? Pale? I'm getting more and more pale for every winter and this is not the lightest shade anymore in the range. So I will buy the number 5, I believe it's called. But I, I don't know. I will want to try other concealers because I have bought like 4 of these as well. It's a very very nice concealer. It's like a thinner version of some other concealers. But it's very very nice and light to medium coverage I would say. It's not, it's not hiding all of my under eye circles, but most of them. So it's looking very natural under the eyes. I have a... Oh, this is the cream blush that I finished in the beginning of January. I couldn't find the pan, but I found it. So I finished a cream blush. There you go. A cream blush from... Oh, I have the palette right here. Uh, this palette, it is the Bomb Bomb Jewelry Rockstar palette and I depotted the two cream blushes right here. So this is the shade that I finished that I depotted right here. I worked on this last year in a project pan and I have finally finished it. I worked on it solely for four, five, four months I think and then I finished it. Um, it is the one called Millie. So it was the more nude cream blush shade. And now I have departed the red uh, cream blush and I have just put that into my drop tin before summer. So let's see how I, uh, how fast I can hit pen on that one. Because it's red, like really, really red. So I finished the cream blush and I'm so excited. I don't have it in my inventory video because I finished it before I filmed that. But uh, And I didn't have it in my <laughs> total yearly empties thing because I finished it just after the new year. So that sucked. So this last makeup product is a nail polish and it is the one from e.l.f. and it is called Smoky Brown. So yeah, this is an old, old nail polish, but I really, really love this shade and I finished it the last month. 
which is exciting. I am doing project polish, so if you want to follow that project, you can. It is on my channel. And I just filmed an update for that project. So that is coming very soon. If not, it is already up. Already up. Was that all the makeup empties? Then we just have the rest that is in my basket. Um, yeah, what do we have? We have some uh, cut rounds from a local no uh, pha pharmacy. Is it that called? Is it called that? Yeah, we have some cut rounds that we uh, used up. Yeah, I have some nail polish remover that I buy very cheaply in a drugstore in Denmark. It is the Beauty by Sacy. Very standard. I already have a new one, so that's that. Then I have a dry shampoo. It is the one from Baptiste, and it is the Divine Dark colored one. I love this, and I will always buy it. Um, and it is vegan and not tested on animals, which is very, very nice because I have not found a dry shampoo that is better than Baptiste. So. Right now I'm using the brunette version, I believe. I do have one dark left, so I'm alternating between those two right now. I have a huge Tresemme uh, Professional Shampoo. Oh, there it is. Color Revitalize Color Vibrance Protection for color treated hair. So this is the 900 milliliter bottle and this takes forever for me to go through. I still have a little tiny bit of the conditioner left so yeah i really i'm trying to use that up very quickly so i don't have to use two different uh, conditioners you know and shampoos two different brands i really want to do it together so yeah i love this line and it is the one that works best for my hair i am using is uh, Prove, i believe it's called and i like Tresemme is so much better my hair is nice silky soft and shiny which is very important for me even so yeah i do have very thin long hair and some shampoos just dries it out but tresemme is always a winner i have used tresemme for more than two years now and it's just working so well and they last forever i can go through one of these in a year i believe so it's very very nicely and it um, it's okay of a price more hair stuff i have a face <laughs> face mask hair mask i have a hair mask from garnier and this is the strengthening mask honey treasures treasures strengthens protects and cares i really, really like this one it was very nice i am trying a new kind of hair mask and that is only going to sit in my hair for one minute this is more i think yeah three to five minutes and I just really like the one minute mask better so I'm not going to buy this again now but it was very very nice and it smelled so so nicely and I think the product was yellow as well so that was kind of fun yeah, it smelled amazing if you like Gagne they do they do very nice hair mask hair masks <laughs> I have a sugar scrub from Soella Beauty and it is the pretty polished sugar scrub and it is this one right here I bought this in Germany because I don't think you can get it in Denmark yet. I think this was from her first line, so it was a white sugar scrub with some mm, uh, red exfoliating scrubby things. It was very, very nice and you... this. It's a little bit weird because if you get it in with a lot of water, it kind of dissolves. Uh, and gets into a very liquidy form so i don't think it is the best yoga scrub i or scrub overall that i have used so i don't think i will buy it again but i am very intrigued to try other products from her i have the gush all day moisture serum formulated with day moist and skin tightener all skin types types this is a very nice serum. I use it just before my cream at night time. And mm, I, I'm not going to say that I have seen a massive difference. I haven't, but my camera is not very friendly for me right now. And lighting, I'm so sorry. I can't do anything about it. It comes and goes all the time. So I was talking about this. 
I do like it a lot. It is it sinks into my skin very very nicely, but I don't think it is, does amazing things for my skin. Uh, I don't think this was the one breaking me out. I am breaking out so bad right now, but it's not this one. So I think it's a good serum. I just didn't see a massive difference when I used it. Then I have um, lotion or face cream or something. It is from Talica. It is the Photo Hydra Days Face Specific Hydration. This is a very, very nice cream. You don't need a lot and it sinks into the skin rather quickly. But the thing is that I was so disappointed about the amount of product in this. It says it has 30 milliliters and this big of a tube, I would say there would be more. But yeah, it was just half full or something when I opened it. The rest of it was air. I have a picture, I will insert it. I will never buy this again, but it was very, very nice to try. Not a thing for me, I believe, but again, it was nice. It was in a subscription box, so I didn't buy it with my own money for that matter. But yeah. Oh, my foot is leaving. Ow. <laughs> Ow. The last thing I have to talk about is a hair serum from Yves Rosé. And this is in my panning games as well, so you would have seen it there. And I have used it for so many months as well. And this is a nice alternative to a hair oil. I think it does the same thing as a hair oil. So I will um, not be scared to do or to try or use a serum uh, for your hair uh, instead of an oil. Um, an oil. Yeah, it's for all hair types. Beautified and for fortified hair. I don't know what that means. But it was really, really, really nice. I just use it on the length of my hair and I kind of think my hair was growing faster when I used this. I don't know if that is just something I in my head, but it was really, really nice. And uh, I don't think it was that expensive, but I think it is worth the price tag. Um, oh, my leg. Oh, my. I don't think I can do the other video that I had planned to do. Ah, oh, this is awful. So now my basket is empty and I'm really excited. There was so much stuff this month. I'm just really, really excited about it because that means I can introduce new products into my routine and I'm always excited about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on more empties or panning videos overall. I do a lot of those collecting videos and I'm trying to get into the habit of doing my makeup on camera. I really want to do that soon again because I really miss doing that and yeah, let me know what you want to see on my channel and until my next video, please take care. Bye!